Hello everyone and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Unbound Future where it seems like we are closing in on the end of this game. We are climbing this pagoda. Right now we got some uh, low-tech VR glasses on and we'll uh, see what Professor Layton sees. <laughs> Those glasses make you look like a bug, a robot bug. <laughs> I think something's coming into focus here. Strange glasses. 40 picarets. These two circular images show that show what you're seeing through your right and left eye. The images were originally the same, but one of them has now been flipped right left and spun around an unknown amount. Awesome. The shapes are the same as in the original image with the exception of one which has been changed slightly. Circle the shape that's different. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> All right, if I understand correctly, it was, it was basically mirrored like this that you'd see the moon kind of like that circle would be over there. Now the star, so nothing would change about the star, but uh, this would change. Be like that. Do, 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 which that matches. Oh boy, this is like really ramped up, like really ramped up. Dang, like the moon was my first guess. But I actually now don't think so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I can rule out the star. And the funny little thing poking out the star. Alright, so, hold on, I'm going to start, and as I was talking, I also eliminated A, and we can eliminate that, okay. Not E, alright. G. Really? Really? All right. Let's see if I've got this right. Few things satisfy like a puzzle. I'm wondering song. if I would have, if, had I not gone through process of elimination, I don't know that I would have even noticed. You might have been fooled by the flip. Yeah. But since you were paying attention to differences along the shape's axes, you must have found the answer pretty easily. Yes! Exactly. Oh, it's a relief to taking those off. I was feeling a bit lightheaded and had some trouble focusing. But it's totally worth it. Thanks to you, the doors are locked and we're clear to press on. Oh yeah, we're going up. Give me my hint coin. Oh, someone had mentioned. I'm not seeing it. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, someone had mentioned that your the stack of hint coins gets bigger as you get more. And now I see it. Cool. All right. 
What a gloomy place. You think so? I actually like how there were dragons everywhere. Ah! Birdie, help! Oh, he found me a hint coin. Is that the first time that's happened? Or have I just never noticed before? No handrails, that seems awfully dangerous. That dragon is absolutely enormous. Hmm, a room without a floor, eh? Now that is interesting. I wouldn't look down if I were you. Alright, puzzle me. Bring it. But I should don't. So you're the scoundrel who bullied my poor underling. That's gonna cost you, lad. Look who went crying to his boss. I've never seen such bravery. Eh, quiet, you! What was I supposed to do back there? I was outnumbered. Hey there, I understand you're a small fellow, and you knew you had no chance of stopping us. So you got your big luck of a boss to do the dirty work for you. Sling all the insults you like, boy. Believe you me, the boss allowed violence. If the boss allowed violence in the pagoda, I'd have pounded you one already. Since I can't do that, I'll sock it to you with a vicious puzzle. As you do. Eh, would you like me to take uh, care of this one, Luke? Don't trouble yourself with this riffraff, Professor. I can handle whatever he's dishing out. Cave cover up? A couple of rapscallions have hidden some stolen goods in a cave. To protect their stash, they're planning to seal off the entrance with some wood. To do so, they need to cut the board shown below into two equal pieces. Where should the thieves make their cut? Draw the answer with your finger. Now, I like this, because I feel like it's kind of trained you for this moment. Okay. Oh. Oh. R really? Is that... Right? They're the same. I don't think it would help, though. Like, you have a gap. <laughs> Fine. They just want to cut it into two equal pieces. That's two equal pieces. They're not good pieces. I'm hoping they point that out because that'd be really funny to me. Allow me to present my solution. They gave us a brain break. Is Puzzle how me? I'm I'm choosing to look not. at that. Seal up the key. Oh, okay. I see what they're planning to. Do. They're gonna. Okay. Okay. The thieves flipped one of the pieces upright, as shown above. Okay. So much for that puzzle. Now what will you do? Hmm, you're lucky the boss doesn't let me rough up people in here. But you can't stay here forever. And when I see you on the outside, you'd best watch your back. Yeah, what he said. <sighs> They're all barking no bite. Come on, everyone. We've got places to be. Where can I go? Oh, just for... Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're climbing it. Tell me my tie wasn't straight. How oh, very ungentlemanly. My, what a fine hat that gentleman was wearing. Is that the floor reflected in the ceiling, or...? Uh, what? Oh. This whole room is covered in mere strange, isn't it? I don't like where this is going. Very disorienting. It's hard to know which way we should head. It seems as if we've hit a dead end. How do you think we should proceed, Big Luke? Maybe there's a hidden panel on one of these walls that we have to press to open the door in here. Yeah, close, but not quite. If my guess is correct, the door out of here is hidden in the dark over there. We can't just rush headlong into the dark. There's no telling what traps could be there. Oh, now I see what you're getting at. Are you saying that this room is a puzzle, Professor? Oh, that's right, Luke. And we're about to solve our way out of here. Um... The mirror. I am already upset. I'm already upset. Sixteen circular rooms are arranged in a square below. 
A beam of light shines in a straight line from each of the four. Uh... <laughs> no. <gasps> oh, it exits through each of the four yellow arrows. Two-sided mirrors in four of the rooms reflect the beams. Each beam passes through the number of rooms listed below its Jeez. Hello and welcome to the rest of this episode. Identify which four rooms contain mirrors and the direction each mirror faces by tapping the rooms. If I understand this correctly, actually, I think I already see one of the answers. Uh, so if I'm understanding, so that A, it would go one, two, three, four, five. If I understand this correctly. Oh, the rest of these look hard. Okay. So for B, can they go through each of the four yellow arrow? Okay. So I can't use that one. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So, oh, oh. All Two, three, four. Okay. Not bad so far. Do I even need to do anything with C? It's like one. What? One, two, three, four. That assumes I don't do anything with D. So if I put a mirror in that middle path, then I have to just blow up everything I just did. So I can place two more mirrors, and I have to move eight spaces. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, this is where my empire crumbled. It was so easy up to this point. <laughs> I should have started with D. Maybe. Hold on. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. <sighs> I'm hoping I understand this right. Because if that's it, then we're done with this. I've got a good feeling about this one. Yes. Well, that's settled. <laughs> oh, that had the potential to be very frustrating. Nailed it. Okay. At first glance, I'm like, we are literally going to be here for the next 20 minutes while I try to put that together. Hmm, it seems my theory was right on the money. This way, everyone. This old clock, Luke, it must be an antique. What that, Professor? Where are my hit coins? Something tells me we're going to need them very, very soon. I'm going to save because it's been a minute. It's the other thing that makes me think we're close to the end of the game is there's been no... Save, like... End of chapter. Professor, I think this may be the top floor. We must be close now. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's the puzzle. Oh, the 
future professor's quarters are most likely on the other side of that door. Hmm. But how are we supposed to make it over the huge gap? Does anyone else think this looks like a giant slide puzzle? Hmm, an astute observation. It seems the foundation under our feet is yet another puzzle for us to solve. The future latent shows a flair for the dramatic. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. Now, let's get started on this puzzle. Oh my god. The Dragon Bridge. 60 Peak Rats. The bridge is out. If you don't find a way across the room, you'll be unable to continue on. Can you figure out how to put the four pieces of the Dragon B Bridge back together? You can't walk through the spiked ball, so you'll need to deal with that too. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I... I I know I said this before, but this is probably the rest of the episode. <laughs> well, wait, there's only four pieces. Okay. I mean, part of me wonders if I could get through this if I tried not to, if I just like tried to do it and not do it in as few moves as I could figure out, which I feel like it hasn't even been telling me, so maybe there's really no point. If we have that there, what does that let me do? No, that piece is, that actually, I, never mind, we are going to do that. Those pieces would be stuck forever. Okay. Could do this. And this. Okay. What does that actually accomplish, though? I mean, I see something I could do. But then... <sighs> then I think I have a whole new problem. Oh, hold on. I think, I think I need us to start... Okay, and then map this out. I could do this and this, but then that gets me stuck forever. Well, no, actually, okay, hold on. We're, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Um, That doesn't go there. I got so excited that doesn't, that's not gonna stay there. Hmm. I'm actually not sure what to do here. Do this. 
this or do I do this? Like that looks right, but I also feel like it gets pieces stuck forever. Oh wait, no, hold on, I see what I can do. Check it. Maybe not. Hmm. Because they need to be able to walk across. So I can get rid of the stupid spike ball out of my life forever right now. But I can't. That work. I think I screwed this up. I hate this. <laughs> I really do. Mm, I wish I kind of wish they had been building this up. I don't like it. All right. I think I've already blown doing this in a few moves. It's like I'm not even going to map this out at this point. There's no reason to. I hate this. I feel like I should be able to do it from here, and I'm just not seeing it. Alright, I sort of see it, I just don't see how I'm gonna get it. No, but I'm stuck forever. Dang, all right. No, that one piece, this one piece, but then it won't be able to get out. Now that one can't get out. Oh wait, oh, oh. Dang! So close, I just reversed those two freaking pieces. I had it, I so freaking had it. Right, okay, hold on. That sucks.
I don't know how to get that piece out. Ugh. All right. I'm going to reset and we'll just start this over in the next episode. I at least I think I see it now, but yeah, we'll we'll start over and see if we can get through this. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>